This coding game is real hell, but last time I did something amazing. Let's see if I can do it again. I don't have much hair left, so let's be quick. Last time I just destroyed level 21. Now I'm just gonna follow the numbers because 24 is gonna be ridiculously difficult. So I hope to keep the streak. The littlest number, level 23. We need to reduce our carbon footprint. We just need the smallest numbers. Okay, so we've got zero terminated strings. We've done that last time. So basically there's a string of numbers and it terminates by zero. So in this case, we've got eight, 13 and two. And we just need to send the smallest number to the outbox. And we will never be given an empty string. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna copy the code I have from last time. So this essentially makes a sum of those strings and i don't actually think i like this code at all so i'm gonna delete it this as well what the shit label so we're gonna be inboxing we're gonna be outboxing at some point now if it's a zero you're gonna outbox something so here you're gonna do copy from whatever let's call this probably the minimum let's write it properly minimum there you go so you copy from minimum you outbox that and then you inbox once you start, you jump over the outbox. Why am I doing it like this? Because usually um, it saves a couple of steps. So do this jump only once. Then jump if zero back there. Cool. Now, you inbox a number. You need to put it uh, down there, let's say. This is going to be temporary, I guess. And then you repeat this, maybe. No, no, that's bullshit. Input a number. It's going to be the current minimum. Yes. Then you input another number, second number, and you're going to copy it to temporary. Once you've got that, you need to subtract those two numbers from each other and see what the minimum is. So subtract what you're holding from the minimum or the other way around. So 8, 13 goes there and then you do 13 minus 8. Okay, so you do 13 minus 8. If it's negative, you just inbox again because the minimum was indeed the minimum. Wait, yes, no, 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 no. If it's negative, the new minimum is in temporary, the thing you just picked up. So copy from temporary and copy to minimum and repeat. And if it wasn't negative, then the original minimum was correct. So you can just inbox again. Now, when should you do this? If you inbox a zero, you should jump there and copy from minimum. This, this isn't gonna work if there's just one number in the inbox, in the string. But let's see, four goes there, now 15 goes there, and you do 15 minus four, which is not negative, so four was the minimum. Now one, one minus four is negative, so this is the minimum. Then you take a zero, take the stuff from minimum, and outbox that, and repeat. Cool, speed this up a bit more, please. And I don't see any strings containing only one number. So let's hope there isn't one later. This is way too many commands, but it could be fast. So come on, 13 commands. Yeah, one over only. That's not bad. And it was slow as well. Shit. But it works. So I'm quite happy with that. But now we can optimize this a little. How the hell do I optimize this shit? Just a tiny bit faster or remove one command. I have an idea. What if I move these things to there? So here we copy to temporary, then you copy from temporary to minimum, just like we did, inbox and do your stuff. But if the outcome was negative, meaning the minimum was correct, you jump to here. And if it wasn't negative, you jump back here and we get rid of one jump. Does this work? Copy to temporary and then do this always. So this remains the same. No, wait, I fucked it. Uh, if it's negative, you inbox another. Otherwise, show me again for fuck's sake. So 15, uh, I mean 13. That's positive. Yes. So if it's negative, you jump here. 
if it's not negative, you outbox. Yeah, I just had it the wrong way around. So fours, 11 goes here. Then 11 minus four is positive, meaning the four stays. Now one minus four is negative. So take the one and update the minimum. Now this stays the same as well. So outbox that and repeat. Yeah, and that's 13 commands and it works. So speed is up, one, four, four. That's correct. Let me see that it's better. Size challenge completed. Yes. And this shitting thing is still too slow. It's even one step slower than before. Now, why do I do this bullshit? I copy to temporary and then copy from temporary to minimum straight away. So here I could just copy to minimum and jump over these commands to the inbox, right? Yeah, I could. Let's do it. So this is 14 commands, meaning one over. But I don't do this every time. But it's, I mean, I guess still the same in a way. Yeah, 14, okay, over and here, 80. Okay, that's that's a little better. We need to be a lot better. I honestly have no idea how to do this better. And I feel that better means more of a shit code, which is optimized in some weird way. Do you have any idea how I could make this more optimized? I'm just gonna learn how to buy a sandwich and you can just comment and I'll read it in a second. There are 10 sandwiches listed on the menu. You don't have much money because of your poor financial decisions. Yeah. How do you find the least expensive sandwich? Okay, that, that was very helpful. Thank you. I really hope the comments uh, will be much more helpful. I just need that green light to be there. Like this, two green lights, that's what I need. So this really pisses me off. 